What's going on my horror movie fans? This is the Horror Movie Freak back at it again with another video for you guys today and today. Did you guys really think that I was going to go away? Nope, because typically after my entire horror movie collection video, I take the rest of the year off um, and pretty much contemplate like what I'm going to do with the channel. But today I'm back with a new review for you guys today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my entire horror movie collection video that I did um, last month in the month of October. Um, just want to say thank you guys so much for the continued support that you guys have been showing the horror movie freak. It's because of you guys that I get to do these kinds of videos for you guys. All right, on to the review at hand. Today's review is going to be of a Stephen King adaptation that I watched a while back. This stars Peter Horton and Linda Hamilton, and... It's really freaking good. From 1984, the movie I'm going to be reviewing today is Children of the Corn. Yes, I finally got my hands on Children of the Corn. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to say is wow. What a movie this is. So, as usual, the cover. You see a arm with a pickaxe. You see children right down here. We'll get to the children here in a little bit. So, right back here, there's Malachi. A couple of the characters, a scene right down here. This is really cool. This film, like I said, it came out in 1984. So, let's go and talk about it. So, Children of the Corn was released in 1984 and was directed by Fritz Kirsch. It takes place in the town, the fictional town of Gatlin, Nebraska. The movie starts off in this little diner setting... And all of a sudden, everything seems to go fine until Malachi comes out. And the kills in the first part of this movie are just over the top. Not really, like, over the top, but they're really brutal and bloody. Um, but, yeah, the kills I thought were really good. Um, the film follows a couple going into the town of Gatlin, Nebraska. Excuse me, that is my pump. Um, it talks about a couple going through the town of Gatlin, Nebraska, and then there's, then there's these weird kids that pop up out of nowhere, and there's one scene where Malachi is leading the children, and all you hear them saying is, praise God, praise God. Um, the setting of Gatlin, Nebraska was good, I really enjoyed the setting of Gatlin, Nebraska, along with the children. Um, the children were really demented, really kind of sick in the head a little bit. Um, so, pretty much the kills in the film, I thought, were good. One of them happens off camera, and it happens to an auto mechanic that guide the couple onto the right road to get to Gatlin, Nebraska. But then all of a sudden, you see somebody coming in, and he's got like a symbol... Like, right here in his chest. And he's ready to be, like, christened by the children. I mean, it's just really good. I thought this was an excellent watch. Um, but then all of a sudden... There's one scene where the children crucify a woman. And it's and the, cru and the cross is made of corn stalks. Which I thought were really cool. The corn stalks were in the shape of a crucifix. And they crucify someone later in the film. And I thought that was really good. But then all of a sudden towards the later part of the film, there's a corn worm that literally sneak that burrows its way through the cornfield. Now, it doesn't pop up or anything. We don't really see what the corn worm looks like, but it burrows underneath the field. It eventually kills off one of the children. And the couple wind up killing the corn worm as the storm comes in they kill the corn worm and that ends the movie as they get back into their car and they drive off so i mean overall i thought the film was really good i mean the actors were really good um but i have one problem with the children of the corn franchise or the film series as it's called it spawned in my opinion too many sequels yes i know the children of the corn franchise is widely loved by everybody but to me too many too many films in the franchise 
I would make this, I would have made this a one and done film. Like, yes, I get it. It's based off the Stephen King book. Just like all the other Stephen King books. Carrie, The Shining, Dead Zone, Christine, Silver Bullet, Pet Cemetery, The Dead Zone, Graveyard Shift. It. There's so many good Stephen King adaptations out there, and this is one of them. But this film shouldn't have gotten, it shouldn't have spawned so many sequels that it gets, like, boring after the second half or the second movie this should have been a one and done but the franchise itself spawned so many reboots and remakes or actually too many sequels a remake and a reboot literally that's how long this franchise is i think there's like 10 or 12 films in it i mean it's a lot like the amityville horror franchise the amityville horror franchise spawned way too many sequels in my opinion the only films that are good within that franchise the amityville horror is the original and i mean the remake is all right which i will review the remake soon the remake is all right but the original is much better but back to children of the corn i personally really like this movie um the children like i said they were demented they had a mission and they stuck with that mission throughout the film the couple did a great job. I mean, the setting of Gatlin, Nebraska was perfect. Um, the kills, while there weren't many, they were really good. Um, Malachi was just sick and demented in the head as humanly possible. So definitely check out Children of the Corn on the scare factor of 1 to 10. That's my rating system. 1 being not so scary, 10 being, oh my gosh, you need to see this movie. I'm going to give this film a solid... In my opinion, this is underrated because no one actually really likes this movie. I'm going to give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. Um, I personally really enjoyed Children of the Corn. If you guys have seen Children of the Corn or if you've seen the many film adaptations that it got and the sequels, the remakes, and the reboot it got, drop it down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, once again, I'm sorry, that's my pump. Um... But I want to say thank you guys so much for the continued support that you've been showing both my channels. Um, it's because of you guys that I get to keep doing uh, YouTube for as long as I have. Um, so yeah, I want to say thank you. And that does it for this review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe down below. Be sure you hit the bell so that way you don't miss any more videos like this in the near future. Be sure you're following all of my socials. And I'll see you guys in the next video.